Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is going to be part two of my journal with me um, session. So that video was about over 20 minutes long and then my son grabbed me to look for some toys, but I'm back. I folded a load of laundry and I'm back and I freaking broke a nail, oh my gosh. I was folding the laundry and my nail broke. But luckily it didn't hit the skin, but it's still horrible. All right, so I already decorated in that. Or I didn't really decorate in that. I just shared um, bits and pieces. I'm one of those people who like to just go around and jump all over the place. Um, I do have a bunch of collage sheets that I printed out. But I do also have like a bunch of my sticker stash that I'm trying to use up. So I have a bunch here. What am I doing? Let's go into my um, mini happy planner. I haven't um, given this a lot of love lately. So this is just a Miss Maker from 2019 that I redated. So let's see. July... Oh, I already like sort of put some stuff down. So let me just decorate a little bit, add some stickers. So this is a payday sticker, but that's so big. Um, I need to call my son's, um, like the, the company that we borrowed his um, instrument from. So I just put that there. I'm looking for a payday sticker that isn't so big I found another one but it's so big okay here we go so we have a little dollar sign for payday there's another one for payday um let's see what else do I want to write or put down the 21st is something special it's Guam's Liberation Day. And then the fourth is, or was, because that yesterday, that was Independence Day. Um, yeah. So let's just write those things down. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the 26th is my wedding anniversary. So I'm just going to write anniversary. This one was Independence Day. And then over here is Guam's Liberation Day. Oops. And then what else besides Payday Payday? I don't know. All right, so let's go to this week. Oh, let's plan for next week since this week is already. So it is a down day. I already wrote off. I'm just going to write down day. I realize like I write the same things for my weekly into my Hobonichi weekly part but I've had this planner for a long time so I'm just trying to use it up and um, oh and then my son needs to wash the car so I know I wrote gas car in my Hobonichi but I'm going to put wash car I do like to use multiple planners and journals. Um, it just makes me happy and I think like, if it makes you happy, then why not, right? And I purchased this specific um, happy planner during um, a Me and My Big Ideas um, warehouse sale. 
I was in California on vacation and I happened I happen to um, be near the Mambi warehouse and I was able to score a bunch of goodies at such a great price. So I think I purchased this planner for only about $3. So that was great, especially because it comes with the metal disc. So even if I were to like put this aside, put the papers aside, um, I'm just decorating. Even if I were to put the papers aside and just not even use the planner and just use the disc, I feel like it was a definite score, so I had to get it. But since I have it, I just wanted to use it and just do some decorating in it. And let's put some washi, because why not? So I have this. I think this is a doodle bug washi, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. They're just nice little birds to decorate. I remember when I tried to be somewhat of a perfectionist whenever I was uh, planning in my books, like making sure that my washi was perfectly straight. And I still do that sometimes, but um, I think that's it for this one. So I still do that sometimes, but I try not to stress myself out anymore because I'm just used to it and I just like it. So I'm trying to find a couple of stickers that I might want to use or printables. I actually printed some more, I think. Yeah, these cool ones. Like this is from I oh, Shane Barton maybe. And then this is from Little Magical Art on Aren't these so cute? Yeah, let's use some of them. I don't know if this is recent or old because sometimes I just go on there and search for some cute images. And then if I want to use them, then I will. And then, and then if I don't want to use it at that moment, then I save it. I put it in my stockpile of principles and then I almost cut that guy. I really like this one. So cute. It looks like she has water in her belly, but she has a blue body, but she's just so cute. She has flowers in her hair. I like to find girls, like I think she's a girl. She looks like a girl, but who knows, I don't know. But to me, she's a girl. So I like to find different images of girls, um, just because I feel like depending on when I am journaling, when I am crafting, um, they set my mood sometimes. Like if I see an image um, that's super, super happy looking, or maybe one is thinking, trying to figure something out. Um, I just think that these these creatures, animals, girls, <laughs> whatever they are, they just make me so happy. And sometimes I do like it when I find a girl with a dirty look or something. <laughs> like a girl who's mad. Like, I don't know. I feel like I want to... Um, take images like that like especially when I'm feeling emotional and I'm like pissed off at something um <laughs> anyway so this is the I am enough journal from Erin Condren um I like to go in here because this is about my thoughts and everything so I just want to put this girl in here since this page is talking about emotions and where is my glue there it is this oh my gosh this is it this is the last of the glue 
Oh man, this glue is really sticky. It's really good. It's like a, it's called like a planner, planner pen, pen glue. She's so cute. So sometimes I like to prep pages. Let's find another page that needs this girl. I don't really share what I write in this book because because it's a book that I write like my emotions and self-care and um, maybe I'm mad, maybe I'm sad. So I don't really share this book. So I will journal in it later, but I just wanted to put some cute, cute creatures because they are so cute. Okay, I do have a doodle book in here, but it's just a notebook. And then I have my Share the Love. So the Share the Love is, oh, I think I'm going to put this in here. Um, this is for my husband. Oh, I better close this glue because I'm almost out of glue. I found this paper, it has hearts. So the Share the Love book washi tape. I didn't realize I have washi tape over here. Some random ones. Um, let's see if I could use any of these pieces. This is a pink doily. Maybe I could use that for something. It's just a book that I share some of my thoughts. Um, mostly good. I would write like funny things to my husband or things I want to remember that he said. Sometimes though, I'll write like, if he makes me mad, then I'll write my thoughts. Like, you pissed me off today. Um, yeah, so let's make a mini collage in there. There's some line pages and blank pages in the book that I know I will never use. So how about I just make a quick collage? Let's find a page. Right here, like these, you have line pages, and then you have blank pages, like here with these hearts. They're sort of blank, They're, they have grid, and then they um, have colorful hearts. So, eh, let's just make a collage. So I have this paper that I did stamp some stuff on, but that's totally okay. I think this is a good, like, it's a coloring page that uh, I think is from Daphne's Diary. I don't remember. But I like to save pages from different magazines or books or brochures, pamphlets that I find. And if, if I see like cool images like this one, that I want to keep, then I will. Okay, just parts of it. Let's do, yeah, let's glue that. Oh my goodness, is this thing gonna last me? Hmm, maybe I should use, save that for the little pieces and then just use the glue I have. Like I have this glue, but I really didn't wanna use this, but. The Erin Condren paper is a little bit tougher, or it's a lot a bit tougher. It's thicker than um, like the Hobonichis and stuff, so it could handle this. I mean, I think the Hobonichis could handle this too because they handle watercolor and all kinds of paper. Let's put that in there. I like to stick it in the crease and then fold it over. And that way, oh, I didn't realize, no, I wasn't, okay. I thought I was on the last page. Okay, see how it's sticking up? I don't like that. So let me just bring it in a little bit more. I don't want it to like pull. Okay, nice little collage, let's put this doily here, grab some glue, and then put this 
doily. So cute. This is not even a collage book. I just felt like doing it. So we have some pink washi. This is like skinny washi that you can use for headers. Um, headers and planners or books or whatever. Oh my goodness, come on. There we go. I like to just put it anywhere. And then I think I have maybe, let's see, I'm trying to find like, oh, this is cool because it's black and white, this washi. And the doodle page at the bottom is black and white. So it kind of pulls it together. I've had this washi for a long time. Oh, this also goes good with the doily because it has like this lace looking design or do doily looking design. So, oh my gosh, I'm so crooked. At least washi's removable. And then I have this thing that says, what are you grateful for? So let's put that right here. Through this guy. I like using bits and pieces. To save. I feel like a lot of journalers, paper crafters, we just have a hard time throwing things away, especially when they're so pretty. And then I want to find like a creature or something or an image that sparks joy. Um, they all bring me joy, but I want to put something in here just to highlight like on top of the doily. That's where I want it. I want to find a happy girl or happy, happy creature. <laughs> Look at this, it's so cute. But I feel like I want to make some, put something like lovey-dovey because this is my husband's, I mean, it's my journal, but I kind of write to my husband in it. So I want to find like a lovey-dovey creature. Something that says, I love you. Oh, I think he says I love you. I printed out so many, so many things in here. I kind of like this one. Oh yes, I like that one. So I feel like it gives off like it could if you look at it the wrong way, it could look like it's saying, you know, like, whatever, F you, or something like that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but she could always, she could also be, like, giving you sad puppy eyes, saying, hmm, I love you so much, or something. I don't know. That's just my, my brain. So that is the creature that I picked and this one is from Little Raven Ink on right I think so I think this is from Little Raven Ink I'm sorry if I made the mistake and if I said the wrong creator's name but like I said earlier um, a lot of my um, principles are from Little Raven Ink or Little Magical Art okay so that is pretty much it now the only thing i'm going to do is take a marker and i'll probably like journal in between here i'm just going to take a marker pink probably pink oh that's green i have my markers right here it's getting dark i think or maybe i should turn oh my gosh no wonder I, I didn't have the light on the whole time. Okay. So I'm just going to line it around here. 
I like to do that with a lot of my journals whenever I have like um, pieces that I cut apart and stuff. I just like to line it. It just, I don't know, to me it makes it like it's part of the page. Like it, it actually belongs there. So that's just me. So cute. So I feel like I did a lot of prepping my journal pages and now I'm just going to journal in them later. Put things away. Try to upload this video. <laughs> but um, the only other binder or book in here is my fitness log. And I logged in stuff we did yesterday. Where is it? Yeah, so we did um, one and a half mile run, and then we went on a hike, but I didn't write the hike down, so I will. But anyway, so that is my journal with me session part two. I don't think there's going to be a part three, <laughs> at least not today, maybe next week. But um, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me all over the place, and that's about it. Bye, guys.